So Albuquerque has recorded 117 homicides in 2021, shattering its previous homicide record by 46%, according to newhregister.com. 117 homicides in Albuquerque alone. In one city, 117 killings. The previous homicide record was 80, and it was set three years ago during Mayor Tim Keller's first term. So Mayor Tim Keller's got to get, he's got to crack down on crime. He needs to have a hammer on crime. He needs a sledgehammer. He needs a goddamn a mallet. <laughs> he acknowledged over the summer that the city would surely surpass 100 killings in 2021, and he remains under uh, pressure to address the problem as he starts his second term. Yes, yes. Pass a crime bill. Pass two or three crime bills. Have crime, you know, police reform, crime reform, criminal justice reform, prison reform. Just, you know, adhere to the Ten Commandments. Make the Ten Commandments law. Don't steal property. Don't steal other people's spouses and don't kill. So, Albuquerque. What the hell is going on in Albuquerque? You have... Here's a killing that just happened New Year's Eve. So the last day of the year. It says 18-year-old Joaquin Sanchez shot and killed Joshua Vigil of Ribera following an altercation at a party at Sanchez's home. It was a shooting victim on El Gaznite in Ribera. Officers in the Las Vegas, New Mexico area responded to a call. So... That's one of the 117, and I'll talk more about that in another video, but Albuquerque, Albuquerque, what the hell? Maybe Albuquerque could say that um, there's a rising crime all across the country, and that's true. They want to say that there's more homicides in 2021 than any other year on record in Philadelphia, in Austin, Texas, Columbus, Ohio, Indianapolis, Portland, Oregon, Memphis, Tennessee, Louisville, Kentucky, Milwaukee. Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Tucson, Arizona. Minneapolis tied its previous record number of homicides with 97 in the years 1997 and 2021. Chicago police investigated 797 homicides last year, the most since 1996, but more than 800 homicides happened within the city. I mean, there's millions of people in Chicago. 117 have been killed in Albuquerque. Homicides are also up by 12% in L.A. from 2020 and 4% in New York. Homicides, homicides spiked in 2020 following the murder of George Floyd by a Minneapolis police officer and subsequent unrest in cities across the country. For many cities, the elevated rates of homicide continued into 2021. So this is from Erie News Now. So it there is a general rise in crime across the nation and you know Biden passed the damn crime bill so when it comes to them not passing shit just pass another fucking crime bill usually that your Republicans are you know all about that they're all boot that New Mexico legislator gearing up to crack down on crime. Robert Note, the Santa Fe, New Mexico Democrats in the New Mexico House of Representatives announced months ago they plan to get tough on crime. Well, it's about goddamn time. It's about goddamn time. In Albuquerque, they actually had state police that were basically occupying the city for three months. And they found like 20-something stolen vehicles. But they left. So the state police probably sh should go back to Albuquerque. They shouldn't have left. Keep them in Albuquerque. You want the state police there. Maybe hire 100 new police officers. I don't know. Do something. So Republicans, you know, they're all about boosting crime fighting efforts. And so Democrats, it seems like it's going to be a house driven effort to toughen up the laws. I think the governor will be focusing on, on an all hands on deck fighting crime package, says Pamela. Pamela Herndon, Democrat Albuquerque is working on a bill addressing safe gun storage crime. It's become one of the top issues in New Mexico. My car was broken into. What can we do about it? 
is what a constituent had asked. Representative Bill Rim, Republican Albuquerque, a retired police officer. He's been trying to toughen crime laws for years. Including an effort to eliminate New Mexico's statute of limitations on the charge of second degree murder, which is now set at six years. You only got six years statute of limitations, so second degree murder, six years? Seems like you shouldn't have any statute of limitations on murder. The public is crying out, you got to do something. But the damn politicians, you know how the damn politicians are. So there's some ideas. I don't know if any of those are the creme de la creme. <laughs> if it's the Magnus Opus. But uh, maybe it could be Mr. Holland's Opus, you know. Maybe it could be Mr. Holland's Opus. 